Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. So today we're continuing my pick a color series and like I mentioned before, these are pre-filmed so things might have changed, things might not have changed and yeah, so these are just pre-filmed because I don't know, maybe one day I'm going to be sick or I won't feel like filming anything. We know life happens sometimes so that's why I have all these pre-filmed and today we're going to be talking about all my brown and burgundy liquid lipsticks so if you're interested just keep on watching. So the first one we're talking about is this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream and this one's in shade 19 Covette and these do retail for 4 through like 674 depending on where you purchase so I'll keep a look out on you know keep a look out on Google or whatever like I just search the name and then a bunch of prices come up so do your research if you are wanting to buy these but this one in particular um, the formula of the Milani, specifically the more matte ones, I just don't really like. I own two of these and they're super drying to the lips and they look horrible at the end of the day if you wear them like a full day and I just don't like them. I love the colors because they're super pigmented and they are beautiful shades that they offer. But, like if you're going to be wearing them for a long period of time, I definitely do not recommend. It's not the greatest formula in the world but they smell really good and they offer such a great array of shades and stuff but this is not my favorite liquid lipstick formula. Next is this NYX Liquid Suede, and this one's also in COVID. And this one retails for $357, depending on what you purchase. And these are really nice. The cover did come off, so now it just has this thing. And this one's a beautiful shade. I really love this. If you had to pick between this one or the Milani one, I de definitely recommend this formula because it's super comfortable on the lips and super layerable. I really love this shade, and this is definitely one that I recommend. Next, we're talking about this Wet n Wilds Liquid Katsu, and this one is in Caramel Cake. These do retail for $4.99 at wherever you buy them, I guess. I don't know if they sell them cheaper anywhere else. Let me know down below. Um, these are just a beautiful... I just, like, these are, like, my, my fave, like, drugstore liquid lipstick formula. Um, well, at least they were. Um, but I own quite a few, and this one I wear all the time. It's just super beautiful. It's, like, a brown... Like whenever like I do like any kind of like just like everyday look on my eyes and then I put this like with some kind of liner. I have a brown liner. It's just so beautiful. Um, The only thing that I did notice with this liquid lipstick is that it does accentuate my like lines on my lips and stuff. So if you don't like that then I wouldn't recommend this but it's such a beautiful shade and they offer a wide variety of shades in this liquid lipstick formula. I hope you would check them out because they are really good. Next is this LA Girl Flat Velvet Lipstick and this one's in shade Spicy. I have mentioned this one before on my channel and I mentioned that these do have like this little thing that twists off and then you have some more product in here which is just a fun fact in case you didn't know. This one was one of my favorites in my collection of these little guys. I've had this for years. As you can see I don't need that much more to get rid of it. These do retail for $1.99. I mentioned um, in some other of these videos because I have quite a few of these that the formula is not amazing if your lips are wet it will not go over any like wet spot on your lips so usually like you know the inner part of your lips are usually wet because of saliva you're talking this looks kind of weird on the lips i just don't recommend this unless you like put like a full-on like liner all over your lips and then go over it but even then i don't know it's kind of like a waxy formula so i've just found a lot of things that i really love more than this but this one's definitely like an old fave of mine and yeah I, I'm glad that I still have it in my collection I do want to finish it up next is this bad habit liquefied lipstick and this one's in shade speed dial these are no longer available supposedly there's like a rumor that bad habit now is ultra ego which is great because now they're doing really great and they have palettes that are really getting attention and that's really great for them um, but these are liquefied lipsticks so these are not like super matte on the lip it's like really nice because the formula is super lightweight and super comfortable they're not gonna like stay on your lips they're like super easy to remove this is just a formula that i really love it sucks that they're not gonna be making them anymore but i'm happy that i got my hands on a couple of these and yeah this formula was just amazing and the packaging is beautiful next is this black heart cosmetics liquid lipstick this one comes in a set of four um and this one i noticed by swatching it that this one's more of a purple than a burgundy but in the two for some reason it looks more burgundy to me so i'm just gonna leave it in here this one's a beautiful shade and i really love shades like this but i hate the formula it's super sticky and super uncomfortable it's super hard to remove i just don't really like it this one retails for 8.90 if you buy it with the set and that's the only way you can get it is if you get the the other ones i'm just not a fan of the formula but with the gloss i do wear like the nude one that came in this set a lot with the gloss it looks beautiful 
but this one in particular I don't really reach for but it's definitely like my type of shade just the formula kind of sucks next is this wet and wild liquid katsu it's a burgundy one this one's in the shade excellent and this one came out around Halloween um, 2018 and I've had it for quite a while I feel like I'm almost done with it because it's just one that I would reach for often like all the time for work this is just my shade it kind of matches my glasses so I would wear it all the time and it's just really beautiful I've gotten tons of compliments on this shade as well I'm not sure if it's still available but if it is they do retail for $4.99 and I definitely recommend this one. The last one on the list is this Kat Von D. Um, this is called the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And these do retail for $20. This one is in the shade Vampira. I'm not going to talk and touch on this too much. Because I have mentioned this a lot on my channel. This is definitely one that I want to get rid of. Because I just the formula sucks. It's just not one of my favorites. I do want to try the nude ones maybe one day i don't know i'm not really a big fan of kat von d but i really love like the packaging and stuff this one in particular is just not one of my favorites so i definitely do not recommend that one and we made it to the end so i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this for you today of course if i do buy more like burgundy or brown like lipsticks i'll let you guys know down below and if things have changed this because um this is a pre-filmed video as i mentioned in the beginning other products that i talked about today will be down below on the names of the prices as well as some videos from last week if you want to give those a watch they are down there in the description box below i upload every tuesday every thursday and every other sunday if you are interested in sticking around that would be amazing if you want to follow me on my instagram journey i'll have my insta handle right here i post a lot of finds like lipstick swatches sometimes you know makeup shots it's a lot of fun over there so if you want to come join us, that would be great. And if you can like and subscribe, of course you don't have to. You are your own person and you make your own decisions. But it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.